Hey everybody, it's me Justin 2.0 and I'm here to talk to you about something a little interesting. Uh, not just a little, this is pretty freaking cool. Um, Steam may be letting you uh, share games with friends. <laughs> um, see, I've been looking around and I found this <clears throat> article on um, Steam that someone was poking around in the language files for the beta version of Steam's next client. And uh, it says something about shared license and letting friends games are currently in use by So, like, you can, uh, if this is true, you would be able to uh, lend a game to a friend through Steam. That's just cool. Now, like, what I'm wondering is if Steam would let you, uh, maybe in the form, like, maybe not for real money, but maybe you could do it for real money. This would be cool, too, if you could do it for real money. Um, sell your games to your friends or other people on Steam, too. Not full price, but like, I don't know, maybe 50% off or something like that. I mean, don't go as bad as GameStop where they, you know, pennies on the dollar. Because, like, you could go in there and buy a game for 60 bucks and they'll only give it, if you go in there and you want to sell it the next week, they'll give you like 20 bucks for it. That's just not right. They're gonna be making. They're gonna on the and when they put it back on the shelf, all they're gonna do is drop the price from new to used by about probably five dollars. They could have definitely gave you a lot more for it. Um, <laughs> but this is cool. This is a cool idea. Um, Steam letting you share games, loan your games to a friend on Steam. That would be pretty cool. Um. What if you could, like, rent your games out on Steam? Like, if somebody wanted to play your game and they wouldn't mind paying you to play it for a little while. Like, renting it. Like, they give you $5 in Steam points and you let them rent the game for, like, a week or something. That would be cool. Because I remember, um, Movie Gallery and Blockbuster used to do that. Walk in there. You pick up a game, you go to the counter, hand them five bucks, and you get the game for a week. You could play it. I thought that was cool. Um, you didn't have to wait for it to come in the mail. You didn't have to log on to a website and order it. You just went to the store, gave them five bucks, played the game for a week, come back, and put it away. I mean, you didn't have to, like, own the game all the time. Like, you didn't have to have this huge library. But that's the, kind of the whole point of Steam with me, is I have this huge freaking library. I got like over 200 games. I own all of them. I don't even play all of them. Most of them were bought with bundles. Like the THQ bundle that came in like 20 games for like 10 bucks. And it's like Darksiders 1 and Darksiders 2 are really all I play in that. And it came with like 20 other games. And, like, I didn't care for it. <laughs> or, uh, the other games. I think it also came with Saints Row the Third, but I'm not, because I, I already own that. It also came with Saints Row 2. But for some reason, that won't work on my computer. I don't know why it crashes. It's really weird. But, um, yeah, that is really cool. Uh, this article came out on June 21st, 2013. It's on, um,. ITWorld.com. Yeah. Yeah. Article by Peter Smith. In case you want to go check it out. ITWorld.com. I'll probably leave a link to the uh, article in the description. Um, anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, it's pretty cool. At least I think it's pretty cool that uh, you might be able to trade your games on Steam pretty soon. Um, yeah. See you guys later.